All right. Oh, Ellie, go get the ball. Andrea, throw a Snickers bar. I'll go get it. Uh, oh, <laughs> can I have Snickers? <laughs> no, I wish I had just some. Just keep it. Hey, another episode of House to Home. We are not at the Stone House today, I are know, we? I know, I know. What are you doing dragging me out here? Well, I thought, you know what, let's uh, let's come out here during a different, let's do something a little different today. And uh, Andrea, I'm Dylan, I'm the hey. safety guy on this. Oh, oh. Our hard hats are on the side if you put that on. Hey, well, oh. do you got a pair of shoes for me too then? Because I tend to wear flip flops. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> oh, I know. Are my yeah. dogs safe? Yes, they're safe. Are they? <laughs> oh, you, you're just saying that because I'm a teacher. <laughs> Dylan, hold it, get over here. Come over here. Dylan, this is Dylan. He's my safety guy. Red hard hat. Safety first. Yep. Yeah. First. Yeah. Andrea, again, I'm Chris. This is House to Home. We will be right back. We're going to talk about this project right here. Inspiration. It's all around us. You just need to know where to look. Investing in your house is one of the best financial things you can do for your family. At First Assured Mortgage, we're inspired by you to help you find the best loan for your needs. Come and see us at First Shared Mortgage, where we're locally owned, and we'll meet you anytime, in the evening or during the day, 785-621-4447. Hi, I'm Jeremy Gable with Technology Integration Solutions. Call us today for a free estimate and let us see how we can simplify things for you. If you're ready to replace your bath or shower enclosure and want a professional installation, stop by Advantage Glass Plus in Hayes. Select a standard or customized enclosure, framed or frameless, with hinged, pivoting, or sliding doors. Give your bath some personality and style with patterned glass available in many textures, including obscured, clear, and rain. Let the glass experts from Advantage Glass Plus create your new bath enclosure. 1005 Vine and Hayes. Find our ad in the next tech directory. Why go anywhere else but Horizon Appliance and Electronics for quality name brand appliances like Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag. Plus many state-of-the-art electronics such as Samsung, LG, and Sharp TVs. Plus America's most recommended mattress, Tempur-Pedic, even Traeger Grills. A full selection of quality appliances, electronics, and mattresses, all under one roof. Horizon Appliance and Electronics in Hayes, open seven days a week. That sound, you hear that sound? Up there? Mm. <laughs> In fact, drill. <laughs> Oh, wait, you think that's your heart, heart rate? No, that's not our rate. That's a different rate. Welcome back to Alistair. I'm a guy, I'm Look sorry. The giggle I'm a guy on a construction oh zone, gosh. you know, we talk about. <laughs> I got you, okay, enough said. <laughs> oh my goodness, as promised, we are back. <laughs> and we are, at, like we mentioned earlier, at a very different place today. Not at the old stone house. We're actually at a brand new facility we're building. Yes. Uh, Institute of Applied Technology. <coughs> the Institute of Applied Technology at Fort Hayes State University. This is my class. Would you believe I get to do this on Tuesday, Thursday afternoons? Heck, can I join your class? I, you can join the class. Uh, we get to come out here and we're building a new concessions building for 4-H. Uh, trusses and LVL beams and posts and we had just... Yeah. We're doing all metal roofing. That's what they're putting up right now. Um, great project, great project. And something kind of cool that I'm doing, hey, hey, Cameron, something I want to share here, we're doing this year with this project, and I don't think he can hear it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, Cameron, Aww. come over here. What's kind of cool that we're doing out here is, uh, first year I taught this is, you know, I was running around with my tool belt on. I look like him. Get in here, come up here. Scoot right in here. Get in here. So uh, first year I was running around like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and then last year I was running around oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This year I did something a little different. You didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, I believe that. <laughs> we. <laughs> I like it. <him. laughs> 
I heard you say I that. I thought you just said. <laughs> Wait a minute. I heard it. I have ears in the back of my ears. Uh, so this year, what we're doing different is this. We have a supervisor in charge every week, and then you already met Dylan. He came over with the, did the safety, make you put a hard hat on. Yep. And uh, so talk about your role as a supervisor in this class. I'm kind of just the leader for our crews, and uh, especially today, nobody else had really done the medal, so. Including I, me? Including this guy. Uh, I've done it more times than I can count, so it works out. We uh, feed off each other and teach each other. I think that's what's cool is, uh, that by putting it, number one, it puts you in a leadership role um, and you're having to lead other students your age, which is, for you, I think it comes natural. I mean, do you think? I hope so. I mean, well, I mean, you're, it's, you want to be a project manager. You want to be in construction. You're in construction management. You want to be a project manager. Own your own business someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's where you're headed. Yep. And uh, you, you've got some experience out on construction, other construction projects, right? You've Lots. Been, uh, four years professionally and 18 or 20 or so unprofessionally. Yeah, and you've got commercial builders up there on your hat. And uh, you're working where now? Right now, we're actually kind of in between projects and just working at the boss's house. Oh, on some oh. Little, little things. Well, I never nice. thought of that. We, we finish soon here, we could we work at my house. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> I, I, we can't do that. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> but we might, but, but we won't. But anyway. So I think it's cool that you're getting to, uh, to be a part of this project. You did come out here today with experience on metal, and, I, and I'll, be a, I'll be honest, I'm not afraid to step back and say, hey, teach us, because um, there's a lot of stuff I haven't done. I, I work on my own projects, but I don't think I've ever put metal roofing on. So how's it going? Everything going pretty smooth? You know, we got these guys lined out, and they, they took off pretty well. I was probably babysitting more than I needed to, but I want at least make sure this front side was very nice and <laughs> yeah. you know the back side if we get a little off it'll be better than the front the front side right um, we had an issue of everyone's confused about which way the metal goes which way the lap joint goes which way our screws were pre-drilled and i think we got everybody yeah, by the time you're done you guys will all have it down yes yeah uh, once once it, you know you get that fi all figured out it's, yeah. it's cake that's cool that's cool thank you you the man. Now get back to work right. so I can play. Keep an eye on those guys. I uh, know. <laughs> and you know what, what's kind of cool is is uh, everybody thinks I bring the dogs out here to get them exercise. Actually, I bring them out here because I kind of need something to do. <laughs> I, I'm kind of, ironically, what's cool is at this time of the semester, what ends up happening is, is you see the students really, really take charge. Um, you know, we're down yeah, to this yeah. roofing thing. Um, what was cool about Dylan uh, seeing you without a hard hat on, he's like, "Hey, you gotta get your, you gotta get your head on." And uh, you know the safety thing, um, you know, and, and the safety kind of thing leads into something that we need to talk about this week, and that's insurance. Yeah, um, well, I was wondering what happened that you guys had to remodel this. Did the roof blow off, or uh, no? Actually, they they actually decided to tear down the old building. They actually contemplated rebuilding the old building, but then they kind of just made the decision, "Let's just rebuild." And that's, that's a decision you make in the process of these types of projects, you know. And uh, last week we talked, uh, you know, we, we've talked about, oh my God, we've talked about all kinds of different things. And then mm -hmm. we talked about, you know, refinancing or financing your project or what do you do for curb appeal and when you're ready to sell your house and what about garage doors. And, and so I think what would really be cool in this, in the next segment when we come back is to bring in a couple insurance professionals, guys that are out there in the industry, um, that do nothing but insurance and talk about insurance. You put all that money into buying the home, fixing the home up, then yeah. what do you do when he Mother Nature takes over? Exactly. So once this project is done, we've got to have it insured. So if yeah. you're right, if Mother Nature does come along and uh, do some damage, blow roof off. <laughs> exactly, blow that roof off. So uh, when we come back, we have uh, we have two people that are way more professional than I am, even thinking of being. So we will be right back. 
After a hard day's work, there's nothing quite like enjoying an ice cold beer and biting into a juicy Q burger from the Golden Q and A's. The Q offers 12 beers on tap from the ice cold Wizard beer system, poured at a chilly 27 to 30 degrees. When it comes to burgers, the Golden Q is the only choice. Try the Q burger or one of the many specialty burgers like the Bacon Extreme or Four Cheese Double Cheeseburger. If a burger's not your thing, a delicious sandwich or bowl of homemade soup is waiting for you. And remember, if the game's on, they're open. The Golden Q, 8th and Ash and Hayes. Your house, you've painted it, fixed it, you've insured it, paid its taxes, and you've loved it. We think it owes you big time. So at Bank of Hayes, we've made it easy to take some of that equity you put into your house and turn it into cash you can put in your pocket. And with that cash, you can do anything. With Home Equity Line of Credit, we'll make your house pay. And it's about time. Building Better Ways, the Bank of Hayes. Building Better Ways, the Bank of Hayes. Western Supply in Hayes has been working with local contractors and homeowners for over 25 years providing faucets and fixtures for new home and remodeling projects. Come on into Western Supply and let their in-house consultants work with you. Western Supply has two brand new showrooms full of ideas to meet all of your kitchen and bath needs. If you can dream it, we have it. Everything from one piece and multi-piece showers to bathroom tubs and tops. It's all right here. Come see us at Western Supply, 1207 Cedar, Hayes. Are you ready to get the ball, Ellie? Huh? Huh? Maybe if I, maybe if you throw it, I'll chase it. Would that work? That's I don't know. Try, try, it. try it. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh and you hit, and you hit one of my students. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to house to home. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, you're trying to injure my, injure these poor, poor students I have here. We have Moose and Moose and Ellie here today. Okay. So, you know, we've been talking about the project, the 4-H project, and, and all the different things that's happening behind us. Yeah. And uh, last week we talked with, uh, 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 was it last week we talked with Patrick? I don't know, one, oh, one of these times. A couple weeks, a couple weeks ago. Uh, oh, last week we talked with Robert Riedel. That's who we talked with. Oh, yeah, that, that guy I don't like Why? anymore. Yeah. Uh, so this week I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a couple of gentlemen. Uh, they are experts, we are not. And uh, we're going to talk about homeowner insurance, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, because we're out here, we're on a project, so we have hard hats on, we're being safe. But uh, gentlemen, come on, and come join us here. Whitey? How you doing? You know, and it's what's kind of funny here is I only know you by Stobby. I don't, <laughs> that, I don't that'll even, work. I don't, even, I don't even know his real name. <laughs> uh, okay. Where are you from? What do you do? Well, we have uh, American Family Insurance Office in okay. Hayes, 113 West A Street. Uh, I've been doing that for 31 years, and Kurt, I hired Kurt back in September to help me out. Well, I'm going to tell you right there, you, this, you could have made a mistake right there. You well, could have. I mean, there I are. I have made a few in 31 years. You know, with years. Interstate right here, there are somebody you could have pulled off maybe with a little <laughs> more. <laughs> We're kind of regressing. Last week, Robert Riedel, now we have Stobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about so, Mark, this next week of tea? I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, we bash on everyone. Okay, on the good, house, good. So. <laughs> uh, okay, homeowners insurance. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Yesterday I got my uh, I got an insurance policy in the mail. I took a look at it and I chucked it in the trash. And here's why: because I have a guy like you that keeps me rounded up in a box. And whenever I have something go wrong, um, I just call him up and say, "Hey." Um, I need your help. Yeah. Sure. Because that policy, dude, it's very confusing. It's, yep. It's just about half being an attorney to read you, it. It's yep. exactly. You know, you thumb through it. Yep. I don't know how your homeowner's insurance is, but for, my, for me, I really, uh, I don't know what I'm insured for. I hope I'm insured for enough. Where do you start when somebody comes in? Well, the, the best place to start is to sit down and talk to them and, and go over the coverages with them. Uh, you know, you got to see exactly what their house will qualify for, and all that all depends on the age, condition, uh, everything, everything with the house. Uh, 
then you can sit down and show them a policy where you can give them the coverages, the type of coverages you can give them, whether it's got replacement cost coverage on a house, replacement cost coverage on the contents, whether it's an older house and not in too good a shape, maybe the roof is worn pretty bad, might have to put actual cash value on it, which means that in a case of a loss, a hailstorm comes through, they're going to depreciate based on the edge of that roof because it's not a new roof. So it's old, it's probably close to being, have to be being replaced already, so they're going to depreciate it. So those are the things you got to go over with them, and nobody is going to remember a month later what you sold them, but the idea is at least let them see what they're buying at the, at time, at the time, and then try to get with them every couple of years and do a file review and just go over things, make sure they know where they're at, make sure they know what they got for coverages. Sometimes people will add to their house and they forget to call you. Uh, I had one just recently that they're almost done with an addition and they called me and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa you <laughs> know, big I addition. <laughs> so so it's do. something, you know, if, if something would have were, were to happen to that, they probably wouldn't have been able to recoup everything on it just because wow. of that. So they were, they were underinsured. So we got to correct that. But those are things we send out uh, from our office. We send out PIR uh, postcards and stuff like that and try to just let people know, hey, call us, let's get together. Things change, lien holders change, uh, lien holders come off of automobiles. We, we need to keep that up to date. Okay, so if you don't mind, because I didn't understand any of that, I'm gonna scoot Andrea yeah. over here. <laughs> now, uh, I'm gonna let you respond to that question. <laughs> well, actually, I'm just mostly curious. What are some I'm of the lost. basic things that <laughs> homeowner insurance we'll covers? Cover? Yeah. Well, you the got basics. fire, lightning, vandalism, water damage, most, most will cover water damage, which is leaking of a pipe. Okay. Pipe breaks, water heater goes kaput, you get water in your basement. Uh, I mean, we've had plenty of them where water pipe would break in the basement. It's got to be all sucked out. You call in some professional service master or any of those uh, to clean it out. That's covered. Um, you got hail, lightning. Uh, uh, well, okay, You've so got, you, you mentioned water. Is that different than flood insurance? Then? Oh, definitely different. Yeah, flood insurance is a whole different animal. Uh, flood insurance, you either have to get through the uh, through FEMA, through the National Flood Insurance oh, wow. Program, or there are now there is now a company out of Florida that writes flood insurance. So you can get flood insurance through through a private company, which is actually cheaper. Uh, so you could do that. But no, water damage from plumbing is going to be covered under the homeowners, but any kind of any kind of groundwater from the outside coming in will not be covered. How, how do you know if you have to have flood insurance? I mean, if you're in the flood area, flood zone. If you're in, zone, a, if you're in a, if you're in a flood zone, your your mortgage company is going to tell you that. Okay. Uh, you don't have to if you're out of it, or if you you don't owe on your house, you don't you're not required to carry flood insurance if you don't want it. So that's you know that's something to just talk to your insurance agent about or your lien holder. Wow and see what they say. Wow, so uh, there's a lot of knowledge over there. Yeah, there is a lot of so knowledge over there. You're, you're just jumping into this and how, yeah, so how, how overwhelming is it for you? Well, I have good trainers, Whitey and Terry at our office. Right. They're phenomenal, so right. it makes it much easier for me. Right. right. You know, it's going out, selling, if I have questions, I know where to you, go. You know where to go. Yep. Yeah. Is it, do you think that uh, um, in this, in you like jumping in like this and you have these guys, how much do you look back on your own experiences with your own homeowners? How, how does that, have you stood back and gone, I, I wish I'd have known this? Exactly, and one of the things that I did when I first got in was I kind of did an inventory of all the stuff I have because personal property is another coverage under homeowners. Uh, and to sit there and go, do I have enough? And when a person doesn't think, especially guys, yeah, <laughs> we sit there and go, well, we don't really have that much in clothes or stuff like that. But when you really put a dollar figure to it. No, wait a minute. Don't mention clothes. <laughs> I had a bad experience with clothes last week. <laughs> so let's not even, you're talking about somebody else in clothes, right? Uh, right, yes. Not women's apparel. Well, you know. <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but it's just, you just don't realize Flatten how much okay. that you have yeah. until you sit down and do a personal inventory. And actually, with American Family, we have what's called the Dream Vault, where a person can put all their inventory right there. If something happens, wow. it's in there. Is, is the idea of walking around with a camera and videoing everything you have, yeah. is that a good idea? Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you see, it, it's, I mean, I've spent a lifetime. I'm in my 51st house. I just, I just make sure it's covered. I... 
I get my insurance policy in the mail, and I probably shouldn't be putting it in the trash, should I? No, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Probably a good idea to hang on to it. If you had it with American Family, you wouldn't put it in the trash. trash. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. He's good now. Yeah, I see. That 31, you're, yeah, you see what you're doing here. Yeah. You're smooth. You are smooth. Well, that's experience. It is experience. Yeah. So, so it, it does make sense that number one, when you get your policy, it's probably even a good idea to bring it back in and say, "Hey, show me, teach me, exactly, Nothing explain wrong with that. these things to call, me, so I understand your, what's going on." Call your agent's on. office and set up a time where you can sit with him or somebody that knows that's licensed in it that can at least review it with you, so you know where you're at. Right. Because you could be underinsured. Yeah. You don't know. And that's, and could something be, that's happens, worse than anything, I mean, I'm sure. It is. It is. We had a fire. Uh, I had a client that had a fire a couple of years ago, and I did a file review with him probably uh, 10, 12 months before the fire. And when I told him, I said, you know what, we need to raise this about $40,000. Right. And he looked at me, he goes, you got to be kidding. It ain't worth that. And I said, it is. If yeah. you have to replace it. Well, then his contents coverage went up quite a bit, too, and he goes, well, we don't have that much in contents. I said, you'd be surprised. When you start yeah. figuring mm -hmm. your wife's clothing, shoes, yeah. my wife's shoes alone would <laughs> take half of it, yeah. and, and everything else. And he was amazed that after they had their fire, we told the house, they actually hit the limit on the contents. Wow. It was over right well, 170000 I can tell you from experience on this project and all the projects I've done, uh, you 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 do have more than you think. Yeah. It adds up yep. very quickly, yep. um, and, and it, it takes guys like you that have the experience and people like you that want to get in and learn and understand what's going on. And uh, thank you for coming out here today and, sure. and talking about this. We could spend a lot more time on this, I know, mm -hmm. um, but uh, but for today, that's about all the time we got. So uh, we will uh, be right back, and Andrea and I will wrap this up. You never know where life is going to take you. Everybody has a dream. Amelia Cafaro hopes to share her unique vision with the world. The work that I have is a reflection of how I feel. American Family Insurance is helping protect what she's achieved so she can fearlessly go after her dream. To find out how our auto, home, life, and commercial insurance can help you, visit AmFam.com For today. auto, home, life, and health, see American Family Insurance agent Whitey Cole of Hayes and Ellis. I'm Jennifer Tepfern. I found my new home at Williams Real Estate. I'm Jerry Wilson, and I found my new home at Williams Real Estate. I'm Jennifer Johnson, and I found my new home with Williams Real Estate. We found our new home. Let us help you find yours. Williams Real Estate, for residential or commercial, 1011 East 27th Street in Hayes, in the Eagle Business Plaza. Or you can see them online at williamsrealestate.net. Each year, about 400 electrocutions occur in the United States. You can avoid shock by knowing one basic premise. Electricity always seeks the easiest path to the ground, and you are a perfect conductor. Stay 20 feet from damaged power lines. And if down wires touch your car, don't get out. Stay inside and call for help. And don't let others touch the car until it's safe. Electrical safety tips for Midwest Energy. A customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. You see their trucks all over the area. The name, JDR Painting. They're getting great reviews for great painting jobs. JDR Painting, respecting your home and your business with great painting results. JDR Painting, a new way to get a little, medium, and big painting job done. You can even book your painting jobs online to be done when you want it done. Schedule it now at repaintkansas.com. JDR Painting, a new and refreshing way to paint. How are those uh, how are those safety straps teach treating you guys? Are they are they kind of a pain? Yeah. Ah, good. That's the way we like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're not done here yet. Uh, well, one of the other things we're one of the other things we're doing this year out here is we're really you know enforcing safety. And anytime you're on a roof, you have to strap in and wear the harness and wear yeah, the ropes like those great. guys are wearing and because that's real world i mean that's they go out on a construction side that's how it's going to be yeah. 
Got to get used to having a tail when we get. <laughs> yeah, that long rope. You know, and you got to keep the rope short enough so that when you fall off the roof, you don't just literally just plunk <laughs> on the ground. Well, that's a good point. You can use the rope to pick them up. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> but, oh my goodness, a lot of stuff today. No, yep. we, we, we got a new project going on out here. Um, a lot of building. We got Moose and Ellie hanging out today. Yeah, and we um, uh, discovered both of us are a little weak on the whole home insurance <laughs> yeah, side of things. I'm throwing my policy in the trash, <laughs> you know, which I'm learning today. Probably I should yeah. get it out. Yeah. It's going to have uh, coffee all over it, but uh, um, uh, let's just say that uh, 31 years of experience in homeowners insurance and doing that, Whitey can yeah. flat tell you what's going on, can't no he? No kidding, yeah. I, I think, I think if, if it tells us anything, you know, us and people out there watching that, you need to get your policy out mm -hmm. and then maybe look through it. Understand it yeah, a little better and I mean, review and <clears throat> update if need be. Yeah, I yeah. mean, just, yeah, exactly. And if you're doing an addition like he talked about, you know, this about, they were about done. Um, uh, I actually closed on a house last week and at the oh. closing they were like, uh, do you have uh, insurance on this? I'm like, uh, uh. no, <laughs> but I will, I hope shortly. But, you know, yeah. you just, it, I, I, think, I think from the homeowner standpoint, my recommendation is, is don't wait for your insurance, ag insurance agent to call you. Yeah. I mean, it's when it gets too, it's too late by that point. Right. I mean, you should go home, pull out the policy and ask questions. Yeah. I mean, am I insured for enough? Am I insured for too much? Is my, you know, does it say I'm covered for a pool and I don't have a pool? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, to understand that policy and really know what's going on is really important for anybody and everybody that, that is, you know, you're paying a lot of money. For homeowners insurance, I remember yeah. back when oh, yeah. I think my first homeowners insurance policy was like three hundred and eighty-nine dollars. No way. Those days, yeah, yeah. I'm not old. You are old. I'm not old. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm experienced. Uh -huh. Is what it is. Seasoned, well seasoned. Yeah. yeah. Any thoughts on homeowners insurance from your perspective? Well, the only other thing I'd add is that we kind of have um, a supplementary insurance where it covers like appliances and the heating and air condition unit specifically. So like if our water heater would go out, um, they would come in and replace it with something the exact same model and everything and it would be covered like the labor, the the new unit all would be covered under that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. That was real world right there. <laughs> so, so it's a so it's a supplementary that that goes over and above your homeowner's right, insurance. Yeah, right. and you so, can pick and choose kind of uh, what items you feel need to be covered by yeah, that. Yeah, that's, in addition to your regular home insurance. That is that. There's there's a lot to be thinking about. You know, um, I've had the same insurance agent for many many years, and I've grown very comfortable with you know what he's doing and how he helps me, and he really under kind of understands where I'm going and what I'm doing with things, you know, he, <laughs> oh, that's what I like. I like it when they bicker. A, I like when they bicker a little bit, <laughs> kind of gets them all fired up and gets them all, keeps the blood going. Yeah. But there's, there's a, loud bangs. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's not flying our direction, but good stuff. Yeah. You know, it comes back to like, we've been talking off camera. If you don't know what's going on, you, it's, it's our responsibility to go ask. Um, which is good stuff. So uh, I don't even know where we're headed next week. Okay, yeah. well, I'll just show up. Just like join I us. Usually do. Join us like you usually yeah. do, and then you will find out where we're headed when we figure out when we're headed, when we know where we're going. We'll be right back with if your walls, if if your walls. How about if my walls? How about if our walls? You stick okay, around. Okay, sure. All right. If our walls could talk, we'll be right back. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air, the choice is perfectly clear. For plumbing or an HVAC repair, for over 50 years. We're the name you trust, the name you know. Glassman does it all. When the air won't blow or the water won't flow, give Glassman a call. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air, the choice is perfectly clear. Glassman Plumbing, Heating since 1892, Heartland Building Center has continued to provide Northwest Kansas with superior customer service and quality products. Offering high performance windows and doors, 
beautiful cabinetry, floor and roof trusses, storage sheds, lumber, and decking. Everything for the professional and the do-it-yourself homeowner. With a full line of hardware, two superior paints and stains. We got it. At your locally owned and operated Heartland Building Center, Hayes, Stockton, and Russell. When that garage door doesn't open like it used to, then it's time to call Strobel Door and Repair of Russell. They'll travel to almost anywhere in Kansas to repair or replace garage doors for residential or commercial applications. The crews from Strobel can replace your garage door, adjust it, and can replace or fix your garage door opener. Call them and set up your appointment today and save on that frustration. Strobel Door and Repair of Russell. Call 785-483-7665. That's 785-483-7665. It's not hard to figure out why Western Stone and Hayes is so busy these days. Since opening their doors in 2008, their motto has been a simple one. Offer a high quality product in a very timely manner. Take a look around. Their work speaks for itself. If it's important to you to have someone call you back, getting the job done quickly, professionally and on budget, then give Western Stone a call to book your project today. With everything manufactured on site, Western Stone products are built to outlast the competition. Western Stone, just east of Walmart and Hayes. So welcome back to uh, If My Walls Could Talk. Today, Andrea is sticking around, so it's If Our Walls Could Talk. You, you mentioned, we did, this, uh, we did this together a while back, you mentioned um, about how a husband and wife um, are a rock for each other. Like yeah. when you're down, I can support, and when, you, when I'm down, you can support. Yeah. How, how, hard, how hard is that in real life? Well, um, I suppose it depends on the relationship and, and right. what kind of relationship you formed. I know that for us, we've really worked on being sure that we are there. It's it's us. We are a team is what we say a lot of times. You know, we're a team. No matter what other people or influences come in, you know, we need to be on the same side, on the same team. Um, so, yeah. That's, that, that's cool because... Because uh, because today in today's age in marriage it's I think I think it's hard to be a team in marriage today because of the all the outside influences yeah. and there's so many things going on everybody's busy and a lot of time mom and dad work or you know, mm -hmm. the kids they, I mean just I, I think team is hard in a marriage uh, yeah I mean well I, and you've got to be interested in the I mean it's you guys are working towards the common goal and the success of your partner helps you in essence. The other thing too is like when I'm struggling, if his start, he comes in, he has something that's even bigger, it almost helps for me to get me out of my rut of what I'm stuck on and to see that, yeah. you know, what I'm dealing with isn't that bad. He, you know, his problem yeah. needs more attention than yeah. my little... And, and and to add a little humor to that you can always think about having me around you can always think of, <laughs> yeah, you're like oh my god he is a real problem so i'm really <laughs> yeah. glad to have but him around. we don't have chris's <laughs> issues we don't have. no but, I, I i think i think for guys to hear that from you that understanding that you want you want a guy you want your husband to open up to yeah you. you want him to talk to you you don't want him to go yeah. out in the garage and and uh, just hide or you don't want them to you want to you want to hear what's going on and it's kind of like that the story about you know if you have one stick and you can easily break it over your leg but if you have two or more it's that much harder to break if there's yeah. two of you it's harder to break it, it than is. there is and, 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 and i think and i think what ends up happening too is is when you're making those it's you can make decisions you can make life's decisions you know but when when you have to make tough life decisions making them together mm -hmm. you grow stronger as a bond and yeah. that, you're right and as you go through those things the sticks lay together and, and you know instead of growing apart over time you grow closer and closer and yeah. closer together yeah. i think that's what through those things yeah, together. it makes marriages stronger and uh, not that i <laughs> my track record in that <laughs> is not too good so you could learn something but, from and, and i think that's very true and i think that is i think that's what's cool about you being here talking about that because because i do want to learn you know I don't want to be. I, I want to. I want to get married one more time, and that's it. Yeah. And I'll take that. I'll take that with me when I get. Yeah. Out. That and our. Any time we have a big argument, the, the thing that it turns out to be is a miscommunication between us. More often than not, that's what what the problem is. And so. that fits in. 
perfectly with this construction project yeah. because most problems on a construction site are stem from miscommunication, not reading the plans correctly or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So I guess we have this on camera now. Now someday I can't come back and say, well, I didn't understand. Huh? I'm going to yeah, be like, you no, you said you were going to try. Yeah. That's good stuff. Thank awesome. you for sticking yeah. around today again. It's been great. If our walls could talk, and our walls will talk. We'll see you next week on House of the Home.